I am a PhD student from Chile, uh, and this has been quite an adventure, actually. The idea that I brought here was to not only to work at this very, very nice uh, reference laboratory, uh, but also experiencing what it is to do uh, genomic sequencing, specifically on salmonella, salmonella bacteria and salmonella isolates, uh, which are very related to some of major issues on foodborne diseases here in Australia and in New South Wales specifically. The University of, S of Sydney and some of their researchers are very, very um, close connected to the New South Wales uh, reference laboratories. You will find here top 10 uh, researchers. Uh, that's something that you can see when you check on the CVs that are uh, available online for, for every single area, at least at the Faculty of, of Medicine. Uh, so just to be able to work as part of the team who, who, are, who is leaded by these persons was just a, an incredible opportunity. What we do in the lab, or what, what, I've been, what I am being taught to do, is... Uh, to take these uh, isolates and basically sub submit them to a specific pr process uh, where you split the DNA and among these steps splitting it, you will end up recognizing, identifying specific parts or portions of this DNA sequencing, which will add information to the public health traditional epidemiological information. It will be not, not only regarding um, where do the people involved in the outbreak come from, where do they come from, uh, which are the ages involved. It will add information regarding to possible uh, clones or patterns on this DNA splits that we are able to recognize through the lab analysis. And that will be an income, as I mentioned, to the public health uh, decision-making moments because they will be able to check where this pattern is, where, where, where is the pattern present? This will move towards, that's what I expected to, uh, towards also comparing it with my own Chilean isolates. Uh, it will be a wonderful opportunity for my government, if it's possible, to ship some samples and see if we are able to analyze them with the idea of maybe finding some patterns connecting also or even Australia with Chile. We're talking about uh, two places very, very, very uh, uh, separated, geographically speaking, but I am so sure that we will find some connections. You realize when you do this that the world is not as large as we thought it was.